All right, so once you've got your application to the point it is now, or if you're just jumping in now, you may want to go check up, check out part one of this tutorial that gets you to where you're at now. Um, you should you should have just clicked your standalone editor, and you'll be back at your main storyboard. And I've actually we've actually got to change one thing here. We've got to change um, the label to state um, something like select and answer. And this is what it's going to be. This is what's going to show the user before anything actually changes um, in association with the segment of controller. I'm going to make this a little bit larger so it fills most of the screen here. And then uh, we'll center it within our uh, view controller here. Also, center the text, and we should be good. Okay, now that we've got uh, the outlets and the action established in our header file, we have to go into our implementation file, our .m file, and you'll see that uh, first off our two outlets have been synthesized and then if you go down a little bit further you'll see that uh, the view did unload they've been taken care of already there which we had, didn't have to do on our own and then the last thing is the action is already established down at the bottom and so that's where we're going to be writing our uh, basically our action as if uh, if a certain segment is or a certain segment is selected we want the text in the label field to change to whatever we we put in there whatever desired text you like so that's what we're gonna do is write an if 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 statement and so if and so we go if and then we're gonna put in whatever our segment controller was called so in our case ours was called segment dot selected segment index is equal to zero we are gonna respond with our label dot text is equal to nice nice try monkey and so once you get that in there let me explain it so basically we're saying if our segment control if the index zero which in computer programming zero is gonna be the very first option not one but zero is so if the index is zero which should be June we want to say within our label text nice try monkey we want to change our label text to nice try monkey okay does that make sense so now we have to do the same thing for our index one but we want to change our label text to something different so we're just gonna copy this if statement put it right below so in this case we're gonna go if the segment dot segment uh, selected segment index is equal to one we want to change the label dot text to uh, think about it once more dot 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 all right and that's what that's basically all we've got to do for our uh, our action answer and so now we're gonna go ahead and run our application, see, make sure it works, and then uh, we should be finished with this tutorial series as far as the segmented controller. So let's see how it turns out. All right, so upon loading, you can see that neither of the segmented controllers are selected, and that was the attribute that we selected. So we've got our basic question, and then they can select the answer or whatever they think. So in this case, they select June, and it shows the selected state and then our label text changes to nice try monkey then if they select June or I'm sorry July the label text changes again to what we stated within our programming in the back end so that's kind of the basics of the UI segment controller hopefully that helps uh, you know expand your knowledge with how that uh, correlates to the text and so on and so forth so uh, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial be good